everybody and welcome to a new vlog. <clears throat> Good morning, Mr. Game. Hello. So, uh, what time is it? It is 10 to 8. We slept in until, I think it was 6.30. We stayed in bed until 6.30. Yeah. Um, we were on and off, but at least we slept a little. It was, it's a, okay, we, were, we did stay up later too, but still. Um, and then I was like, I had been showered, started my laundry. I made, I'm not sure why I had one mini pecan muffin sort of explosion here, but it's fine. So I made some mini pecan muffins. Um, I'll try to remember to link the recipe for you guys below. It's a Laura Vitale recipe, though. If you go to laurainthekitchen.com and then check peca mini pecan pie muffins, they will pop up for you. Um, yesterday I put a new Mandy on. This is the May Loyalty box. Dashes. Um, love them. Uh, there, I just love the chromeness of those couple. I don't think I could do a whole hand in chrome, but I like a couple. And uh, I'm about to try um, instant pot, like boil hard boiled eggs in my instant pot. I'm gonna use the five 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 method. So I've got my cup of water in there. Here's what I don't know, and we're all gonna find out together, I guess. I don't know if they can touch or not. I don't have a fancy smanchy little holdery thing for your eggs, so we're just going in like this. How you feel about it, honey? I hope they don't explode. <laughs> so, um, what I, ha I had seen some people, or I, some a video I was watching, I, occasionally now, Instant Pot videos will pop up in my recommended feed because I've been watching some here and there. And I was watching one and she said something about lining up the arrows, you know, to put the top on. There are no arrows. I don't think, I gotta look again. You look I gotta put that right on too. Oh well, maybe there is. Okay, upon further review, it's really hard to see, but there is an arrow. So let's see. Totally worked, and I didn't have to fight with it. You guys line up the arrows. A lot of you were with me on that. Okay, so you're supposed to um oh pressure cook. And then five minutes in here. And then once it comes up to pressure, goes for five minutes. Then you let it release by itself for five minutes. Then you release the rest of the pressure and you put it in a water bath. That's what's supposed to happen. Got that, game? Good. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to go dry my hair. I got a little laundry there already. I'm going to go dry my hair because I want to shoot some videos today. And uh, I don't know what time my mom and dad are coming. Oh, shoot, I forgot my, forgot my phone. Um, <clears throat> but I went to the grocery store yesterday, not to Walgreens or Walmart or anything, and I don't have a card for my mom. I feel terrible, but I'm sure that I have a card that I have stamped along the way that I can use for a Mother's Day card. I just feel badly. I usually like to, I spend a lot of time picking out cards. Um, oh, I was like, what, about, what did I come back here for? And uh, yeah, well, it's just a different year. Right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's gonna be one more Joe day. All right, I'm gonna dry my hair and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. And sorry for abruptly ending the last vlog, vlog again. Sometimes it just happens. All right, <clears throat> um, I want to show you guys the eggs. I just went in to get some Advil. I'm not sure if I have a, I haven't had coffee yet, headache, or what, but um, you guys, the eggs worked perfectly. They peeled like a dream. There were no swear words that came out of my mouth while peeling the eggs, were there? No. I'm laughing at him, so whoops. Did that with my finger. Um, anyway, so the other eggs, I'm just gonna make egg salad for our lunches this week. That's all that's going on with the eggs, but I really kind of wanted to try. So I'm gonna take this Advil. Hope my head gets better, and maybe I should have some coffee because that could be part of the problem for the head. All right, you guys. It's about three o'clock. I gotta tell you, some days when I push, push, push like I was doing today. Um, then I just sit down and I hit a wall. I think you guys are, you feel me. I'm sure you guys all have that. Um, so 
So far I have eaten a couple of mini pecan pie muffins <laughs> and some crackers with cheese. Yep. So I'm going to have some toast here. We're going to have breakfast for dinner. I'm just going to have my toast now. Um, and that's fine. It's okay. I found this thing on Amazon for the bread. Did I? I can't remember if I showed you guys this. Um, and originally I thought I wasn't going to like it because see how it doesn't actually close? But it actually makes it easy to get the bread in and out of there. So, there you go. Um, so yeah, we, Bob sat down, he snoozed for a little bit. I snoozed for about 20 minutes, which is pretty good for me. Um, I shot a video, I shot a, an empties video. I was gonna do two and I just was, I just was done after that, tapped out. Um, today is, you know, I've talked about this before, Mother's Day is hard for um, me. I, celebrate my mom and then <clears throat> once that's over then it's just kind of hard so um yeah i'm not like i'm not pushing myself too much today aside i've gotten done um what i at least some of what i wanted to do i wanted to do like i said i wanted to get a video shot and i did a live with you guys which was a lot of fun and mom and dad came and they were here for a few minutes not too long. Stayed in the garage. I should have gotten the camera out and let them say hi to you, but... And, uh, yeah, so Bob is up from his little snooze. His was a longer snooze than mine. And he is going to um, put all his fishing stuff up in the boat. I mean, he, he mopped the bathroom and kitchen floors as well, which was nice. I'm very lucky that he does that for me. And... Uh, yeah, I can't remember. He said something else he was going to do. I don't know. Uh, and like I said, we're going to have breakfast for dinner. I'm going to cut up my... Maybe I didn't say that. I did a live earlier, so I can't remember exactly what I've said. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so um, we had tenderloin last night on the grill. I'm going to have the rest of my tenderloin. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is cut it up and then mix it with eggs and peppers and onions. And we're going to have that tonight for dinner. So breakfast for dinner. We were going to have chicken pie, but we're just going to push that off and just do breakfast for dinner. And that's going to be that today. So, on that note, I hope that you guys have had a great day. There won't be too much more. I'm going to stick you guys in here. There won't be too much more to report today. So, yeah, I'm going to have some toast. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll show you guys what I ended up making for us for dinner. Um, otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, 1036. It's been a busy morning so far. I might probably mute this in case it pops back up. Oh, it's <laughs> my internet has been sketchy all morning. I don't know what's going on, but I was on a Zoom call for work and it just cut out in the middle of the Zoom call. I was like, well, it's spectacular. And it appears it's done that again here. So, yesterday, I don't even know how much I vlogged. I did pretty well for most of the day, mood-wise. And then um, took a distinct turn <laughs> for the uh, cranky later in the day. So, I probably didn't. I don't think I vlogged much at the end of the day. I'm just making myself some toast here for quasi-breakfast, I guess. At 10.30 brunch. You call that brunch? Uh, and... Uh, then I'm going to get back at it until 11, and then, yeah, seriously, what's happening here? And then um, I'm going to take my lunch, and I need to run down to the appliance store. I've been putting that off, and now anytime we get water or ice from my refrigerator, it beeps at us. So I really need to go and get that handled. So, um, and then maybe work on some puzzle. I started that a little bit, I think Saturday, so... Anyway, that's all that's going on so far. I just thought I would do a little check-in, say good morning to you. I hope um, you guys had a good Mother's Day. Um, you know, it was good for me to see my mom. That's always the part I enjoy of Mother's Day, is celebrating my mom and seeing, you know, I enjoy seeing her anytime, but you know what I'm saying. And then the rest of the day is just kind of, ugh, you know, and it's okay. It's okay. I've stopped beating myself up and telling myself I needed to be... <laughs> Happy every Mother's Day. So um, I spend some time celebrating my mama. And then from there, if I want to feel like crud the rest of the day, I let myself feel like crud the rest of the day. So 
All right, I'm going to go um, figure out what to do on my internet, unless it's just something that's going on in the city. Oh, I did want to tell you guys, um, I checked with the city today. This, that's what made me say the city. I checked with the city today as far as our whether we can get a cut-in on our property, and it's a city ordinance, so you can only have one cut-in per property. So there's no putting a gravel pad on our property and um, having that, having a cut-in put in. So I'm adding a little homemade apple jelly to my toast in case you're wondering what's happening here, in case you really want to know minute by minute what I'm doing. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer. The, the problem is that's just going to up Bob's um, desire to buy that piece of property next to us. We can have a put, there's no cut in on that property and we could have one, I don't think. And so then we could have one put on there, but I mean, it just would be tricky. We'd have to give it some serious consideration as far as where on our property, where we would, where on it we would put it. Because if eventually we put a shed up on there, we'd want it to be like in a, in a decent spot. You know what? I, ugh, anyway, it's too much for me to think about right now. But that's what's happened so far this morning. You're welcome for bringing me home to date. I'll see you guys later. Good morning, you guys. It's 1126. I mean... <laughs> I'm taking late lunch today. I'm gonna go at one or whenever the, whenever the, something stuck to my packing tape here, whenever the Walmart tells me my order is ready for pickup. I'm gonna do that, run to the post office to get some things shipped out and go to the <laughs> appliance store to finally get um, the filter for the refrigerator. Yeah, I thought it seemed chilly in here. It's only 65 degrees, I never turned the heat up. I've been busy with calls. I have the news on. I'm listening to the hearing thing. Um, so, yeah, I had calls this morning and just been busy, 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 which is good. I, I prefer that. It's going to show you guys. This is how far I got on the puzzle. Yesterday, making some good progress, but I kind of got stumped. Not stumped, but like I wasn't quite sure which part I wanted to go back on to. I, I tend to work, you know, from bottom up. But then I'll also put together signs. And this has a lot of little signs you can see. So the, I'm on to picking out my next pieces. I just haven't done it yet. So I haven't done any of my dishes either. I had a Belvita for breakfast. And um, that is it. <laughs> and I'm going to have, I think I told you guys in the vlog, I made egg salad for us with the eggs that I made in the Instant Pot. So this week I'm still using the same wraps. I really like those wraps. I'm gonna have that. And then I'm using some red peppers in there to give a little crunch. And, oh no, I did have a, I did have a piece of toast. And the last piece of bread. So I need to wash up these dishes at some point here. But um, I felt like there was something else I was gonna say and I've lost, I've lost track of it. I apologize. I mean, this it's just this is what it is. And my eyes today, in case you're curious, because it's a crazy look, it's so funny. Somebody put a comment on the picture that I posted on Instagram. Um, I don't think I've ever put you guys in this cupboard before. They put a comment, and they were trying to be sassy, but I don't care. <laughs> They're like, what are you going to do for a night look with this palette? As if I didn't know this is like, not a day look. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, though. Um, it just was funny. It, people just, you know, like, I don't know who, if maybe they're having a bad day. I don't know. But anyway, I, uh, <laughs> I haven't, I haven't had a chance. I, I don't, I don't usually answer comments on like a feed post that I put up until I was filling water in the coffee machine in case I'm running, or in the curry. I don't usually put, I don't answer those until later at night when I've been working. I try to answer on breaks um, if I've posted on my story. I try to answer those kind of throughout the day as I get a little break or I'm waiting for something to run or the internet's slow and I'm impatient, you know. I try to do that, but the other ones, I, I, they usually do at the end of the day. Anyway, 
so I haven't come up with a response yet. Um, what else? Oh, anyway, so the look is from the Courageous palette from Red Aspen. I got it in, I think it came Saturday. I just hadn't, hadn't used it yet. So I had a lot of fun with that. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to um, get the addresses on these envelopes and make sure they're secure. And I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. All right, you guys, it's 10 to 2. And I just have to say, I feel like a winner. Because I managed, I left the minute my Walmart order was done, which was 10 to 2, or 10 to, not 10 to 2, that's what it is right now, 10 to 1, and it is now 10 to 2, and I went to the Walmart, I went into Walgreens to see if I could find something else for my parents, and hand soap, because um, they didn't have it at Walmart, I drove through the bank to deposit some cash, I... Went to the post office to mail four packages. Did the dance with the post office person. Raise your hand if you've been to the post office and you know what I'm talking about. Went to the appliance store, got the filter, came back, unloaded everything, and I am just right now hitting my hour. I mean, I feel like a winner. The only thing I need to do yet is make my wrap quick. But it'll only take me five minutes, and then I'll be back at my desk to handle the emails that I can hear going, bling, bling, bling. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I feel super productive. I'm very, I'm looking for my water. I'm very pleased with, oh, sugar, um, with how my day has gone so far. I had to pause there for a minute because I thought I had zoomed in on myself. And yeah, whew, sometimes things just go well. And in those moments, you have to be happy and thankful and count your blessings. Good morning, everybody. It is just a little after six. We had some interesting times at the game household last night. I, um, I'm not an individual who gets angry. <clears throat> and I generally, and I really try to keep myself in check, you know, if I feel like I'm going to, and I did, for the record, I did keep myself in check. Because it's not really anybody's fault. But my husband and the neighbor <laughs> decided it would be a good idea. Well, my husband asked the neighbor. So it, none of this, for the record, none of this is our dear neighbor's fault. He was just helping Bob out. Bob decided that he wanted to have, here I'll show you. He wanted to do like potatoes and stuff behind the shed. So he asked the neighbor to till up, the neighbor, he tilled up the garden for us, and he asked him to till up back there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And so I was still working. It was like 4.30, but I had a few things I was finishing up. So Bob comes in and jokingly says, <coughs> um, well, if the internet goes out, it's because um, Bob's tilling up the back. I said, it better not, since that's how I work. <clears throat> and he chuckled and walked out of the room. I don't think it was three minutes later, and the internet was out. And I looked over, and I said, well, it's out. And he goes, well, no, it's, I, I see it. It's on my phone. It must be your computer. I said, honey, it shows on your phone, but if you try to update something, it's not going to update. So he goes in, and sure enough. Because I have his on, I have both of ours on, um, you know, to, to use, well, not to use cellular data if there's Wi-Fi, you know, like, I can't remember what it's called, but anyway, um, <laughs> you guys, oh, I was fuming. The first thing out of his mouth was, well, I have, I have a Zoom council meeting tonight, <clears throat> and I said, Honey, that is the least of my concerns right now. How I make money. Our bread and butter. Well, obviously, 50% of our bread and butter. Uh, is through, through Wi-Fi. I work from home. He didn't say anything. Like, not... Because, here's the thing. This is why I was filming. <laughs> because if you thought enough to say, hope the internet doesn't go out, then you probably should have thought enough to... Do a little more research before you have somebody dig us. Anyway, I go walking out, and sure enough, the neighbor who feels 
terribly at this point is like standing there holding these orange things that are clearly the cable wires. So, <laughs> so where is it? we are currently without internet. Um, and I, I, I put this on Instagram and you know, a lot of people said the same thing. I could absolutely use um, my work phone as a hotspot. But I can't use my work phone then. And I, so I have my personal phone too, but not everybody knows that number. Like it's just, I can make it work. I, it's not that I can't make it work. It's just, <laughs> it's, it was avoidable. They would have just had to wait a day. We would have had them, you know, we would have called. They would have put the flags out. Like, it, it wouldn't have been a big deal. And thank goodness there wasn't anything else. And I will say this. It was pretty shallow. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, it was dug pretty shallow. So, not that anybody would have expected it, but anyway. So, oh, sugar. I just unplugged the carry. Um, so I was pretty miffed. Um, <laughs> you know, li life is not perfect, right? No marriage is perfect. No relationship is perfect. I know you all feel me. I, I see both sides of it, so I didn't, and eventually later he did say, yeah, I'm sorry about that, dear. <laughs> it took him a while, but he got there. And I really, I wasn't, I wasn't treating him any differently aside from I was frustrated. You know what I mean? He can tell when I'm frustrated. But anyway, so we will make it, we'll make it work. I, we, I will make it work. I called and they're going to be here today between like 10 and 11. I can't wait to see how much this is going to cost me. Though I have been paying that wire maintenance fee every month for however long I've had cable on my own since I was... I'm trying to think of how long I've had this particular cable um, charter or spectrum since I moved here in 98. So I don't know. Uh, let's see, 2008, 22 years. I've been paying the wire maintenance fee for 22 years. So I'm hopeful that this is covered under that. And if it's not, well, whatever. <laughs> Just, okay. We're going we're gonna to let that go. We had tacos. It was a little Taco Tuesday last night, but I just didn't vlog anymore because I was not in a, a pleasant mood. It was not at all in a pleasant mood. And that is more about, not that I don't, not that I think that you guys expect me to only be perfect because clearly I'm still a little bit of an annoyed, but I want, I don't want to come up here and come on here and be downright crank. You know what I mean? There's just no point in that. But now that we're a little time removed, I can tell you the story with okay, I, I Instagram story about it right away. And I think you can probably tell it was pretty torqued. So that meant no live this morning. Obviously. Wait a minute, no live. I mean, I could, it's not worth it. I might use my company internet to do a live, that's for sure. I just don't, I've never, you know, I, hard, I hardly ever use the phone when I travel, my work phone. I use my own phone for the most part when I travel for them. So they're going to see a bill for me that they've never seen. I just don't want to. I'm obviously going to tell them what happened. Just anyway, I'm gonna go put some makeup on, and then I think I'm gonna shoot my skincare video because I have time. I'm listening to some podcasts that I'm behind on. There's a daily podcast that I listen to by Rick Warren. He's a pastor. I maybe have talked about that before. For the most part, I like what he talks about. Sometimes I don't agree 100% with his theology, but for the most part I do. I feel like my hair, here's what I feel like with my hair. If I let it air dry and the natural curl be in it, and then I put some curls in it, I like how it looks. But. If I roll a dryer with a brown brush and flat iron it, and then the next day I put curls in it like I did today, this is day two, then I feel like it just doesn't look right. And it kind of drives me a little bit crazy. So, guaranteed later my hair is going to be pinned back. My bangs, I mean, will be pinned back, guaranteed. I'm going to throw some makeup on it. 
You know, sit here and talk to myself instead of talking to you guys on the live like I normally do. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Um, happy grocery shopping day. <laughs> Although I did my, I did ours this weekend, but today is grocery shopping day for my mom and dad. So I'm going to do that on my lunch, but I'll probably take my lunch early and try to get that accomplished. I was just putting on my slippers in case you're wondering. They were shoved way under there, so I had to sit down to get them. I'm making myself some waffles for breakfast. I know it's not Friday. Don't be shocked. It's 20 after 8. I have been hard at it this morning. Um, I got up late. Oops. Um, that, that oops was for the fact that my waffle. Uh, I put them down in for the longest time that my thing will go. And then... Um, I put them down a little bit more because I like them to have a nice little brownness on them. Anyway. Um, oh, I forgot to get a fork. I need to get... I'm almost out of... Well, I am really out of that. I'm very particular about how the syrup goes into said waffle. I like it to be in... It doesn't have to be a lot, but there has to be some in each little square. And then I take a fork and I poke down like that in every little one so that it gets down in the waffle. <laughs> anyway, so I have my coffee here. Let's just have a little chit chat. So it's been very busy. And um, I've decided I'm having two waffles instead of one, which is why we're still standing here also, because I'm waiting for the other waffle now, because I changed my mind. It's fine. So, um, we, I, uh, had, yesterday was just, it was crazy, busy, um, and then I had a team call with my, the people that, um, signed up under me for Red Aspen, and it was so good. Um, I asked Sarah to come on and help. That's who I signed up to offer some some ideas on some things. And, um, but it was just really good. It, it, you know, I think as we get going and people get in, they'll be able to share other ideas and that sort of thing. And it won't just be, you know, me and Sarah talking, but um, they all had really good questions and it was just good. It, it made me happy. And then also I worked on this a little bit more. You can see <laughs> I'm very systematic. I work from the bottom up generally. Um, so this currently where I'm at is I pulled out all of the, like you can see like foresty, you know, the trees and then that part. And the, anyway, it's coming together. That's what I'm saying. It's coming together. Uh, so yeah, that's, that, that's all that you missed. I mean, super exciting stuff. Now today, I don't have patience to wait for that one to have its second down. Today, um, it's raining currently, but it's supposed to stop this afternoon. So as far as I understand it, um, Kyle, who does our landscaping stuff, is coming to put, hold on. There we go. It's coming to put in the um, tree that we bought to replace the one that we lost last year in the storms, if you'll, if you will remember. And I will show you guys all that once it's in, but we got an autumn blaze and I had him get the biggest one that his equipment would allow him to put in. Cause I'm not, I don't want a sapling out there. I, I just, I want to have a decent sized tree. <laughs> I feel like every time we have a tree, sorry, I have syrup on my fingers here. Every time we plant a tree, and then it gets to a certain thing, then something happens. Like at the old house, you guys remember, we had a big storm. We lost the trees we planted there. And this one, this tree was there, but we, you know what I'm saying? So let's just, let's just give it a good start. We're just going to give it a good start by buying one that's a little bit bigger. So I will show you. He said it's about 10 foot tall, so we'll see. I'll show you all when, when it's, like I said, when it's here. Right now, I'm going to go get some more work done. All right. <clears throat> a couple more calls. And... It's about quarter to ten. I am taking my lunch early today so that I can go shop for my parents and then they're going to come meet me here. So I'll be able to get it all done in an hour. 
Um, I feel like I had something. Oh, I know. I'm going to stick a clip in here. I think I, I think I saved it. I put it on my Instagram because they were moving fast, but <laughs> their turkeys are like taking up residency in our um, neighborhood. And yesterday, or a couple days ago, I saw one. I'll stick that picture in here. Just hanging out in my front lawn, and it walked in like our walk in our entryway and everything, which is weird. And then all of a sudden, I look out at, at my desk. I'm, I'm sitting at my desk working. I look out, and there's this whole bunch of turkeys. Flock? Is it a flock of turkeys? Going across the lawn across the street. So anyway, I'm going to stick that in here for you guys to see. And I'm going to go and see if I can bust out the shopping in and out. I showed you that picture yesterday of the turkeys or the other day. Look at what, what is happening here? There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And I think three of them have the little things. I don't know. I don't know animals, but what's happening here? <laughs> it's just crazy. Our, our neighborhood's being overrun by the turkeys. All right, everyone. It's 514. And I'm just going to show you the tree. Yeah, like minutes before I gotta put my beans in the microwave. I have everything very timed out. I'll show you what we're having for dinner. But I wanted to show you guys lots of the tree. It's an autumn blaze maple tree. That green bucket is what Bob uses to water. Um, he has a hole drilled in the bottom so that the water trickles in instead of just like gushed in. You know what I'm saying? And he doesn't have to stand there with the holes or anything. So Kyle did that for us today when it stopped raining. It's 62 degrees out here and sticky, like it's humid because it poured rain. It's crazy. So I did a live tonight actually. Used my derma flash, showed some things that I got in from Red Aspen. I was telling everybody about how if you like the nail dashes, you should really get on them and buy some because they're gonna be in shortage until they can catch up from um, you know, not expecting to have the growth that they did. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so we're having some fresh style green beans. Um, so I'm putting those in the microwave. And then this is the lasagna. I can't remember if I said this earlier or not, but I made early on in the uh, quarantine, I made two, like I doubled my lasagna sauce and everything. And so I made a square for us, a square for Steven, and a 9 by 13 for us at the time, and then I had this one in the freezer. So I pulled that out a few days ago. We're going to have some lasagna tonight, and I'm pretty excited about it because it's enjoying my lasagna without having to put a lot of extra work into it because it was already made. I already did the work. So it's setting garlic breads in the oven, and we're going to eat in a few minutes. Just thought I would check in. Mr. Game, what do you think of the tree? Yep, and he talked to Kyle too about putting in a pad, a gravel pad for us to put the camper on down at the bottom of our of our um, hill. We cannot, I can't remember if I told you guys this or not, we, if I called the city to find out we can't have another cut in put in, you can only have one per property, like we're, like a driveway cut in. So we can't do that, but Bob's pretty confident that we can, he'll be able to back it up over, or our friend Paul gave us some idea to kind of find some of those bumper things that like make it more like a ramp to go over the curb. So we'll see. One of those things, but we think we we're pretty sure we're gonna do that instead of instead of store for the year, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it just makes a lot more sense fiscally. So alright. We're gonna go eat dinner and I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.